some sometimes the thing is when we say aliens created humans we usually tend to to think that aliens use the same thing as a human would use to create a species like taking a rabbit <laughs> take into a lab modify something make a mix in a vial in a vial or whatever and then put a syringe in it and wait for it to transform or open it and change something inside so that's how humans would do it but people from other places right other dimensions from other worlds they don't usually travel from one world to the another they use interdimension realities in order to do something mm -hmm. so basically there are many species that never visit this world but they modify the life in this world through the sixth dimension because we're existing on all these planes right like exactly and there are some species in other worlds that evolved to be able to to mold and to use the sixth dimension and in the sixth dimension there is no no space so in order to transform the earth you don't need a space a spaceship to come to earth space you just have to you just have to enter the frequency of earth yeah. and from where you are modify the plant and the plant will modify it here through layers of time so for them it's just a second but for the for the earth it could take a million years yeah until the light is modified so hmm. that's why what we see as evolution is actually a lab work in other planet <laughs> you know? uh, so why don't they just why are why do we not get modified to the point that we are incapable of evil and destruction and disharmony why wouldn't we get modified modified up we need a glow up <laughs> yeah it's basically it's like saying for example um i want an apple but i don't want to wait for the tree to grow so you cannot make an apple you have to wait for the seed to be in the darkness and the pressure of the earth to feel how to absorb the nutrients and extend roots and first the first thing that every being does in the vegetal realm what is to go deep into the darkness yeah, yeah, yeah. because the darkness is the one that has the minerals the dark is the one that has the potential and you find the dark and the potential through going against mm. the force of the earth and you have to feel the pressure until you feel you are tight enough to this reality to start growing up so when you take the the understanding of how a plant grows you will understand why in order to become an aware human being you first have to go deep into the darkness <laughs>